Hi there. So I've recently been reading comments and one person asked, what are my thoughts and subliminal messages and affirmations and should people listen to those when they go to sleep? Now, personally, I have done it just a very little bit and probably like six or five years ago. Uh, Rich Williams of TX, a close friend of mine, he, he had like, you know, he does these Uber boot camps from time to time and gather people and teach them how to gather a body and like, you know, it's a group training for three weeks or so and then he lets them out and they're training and stuff. So back in the days, like you know, six, seven years ago, th there was this boot camp and I, like, I, I was part of it and I was, uh, like learning a lot from it and Rich had uh, an audio that he made with himself with the binaural beats and the voices and he like the whole lot like he did everything and that was pretty amazing so listening to that track like you know just you know uh, affirming that you know you're dreaming now like rising is it real you're out of body like different things but he asked audio and like it really helped me so I would like go to sleep and like you know had the heavy audio in my phone and so the phone is like on the ground but I have the earplugs and I'm, I'm just I mean earbuds I guess earbuds. <laughs> I had earbuds and just listening to that audio, audio. So I fell asleep, but that thing is still going and it's like on, on loop. So the audio is like 30, 20 to 30 minutes or so. And like I've, I've did like I've listened to that audio for a week or so, and I've noticed a difference. Like you know, some people like when they're awake, they ask themselves like, "Am I dreaming now? Is this real?" They pinch their nose or they look at the mirror and they like do all kinds of reality checks. Now Rush has the audio where he like has all in audio and voice, so I'm sleeping and I'm, I'm hearing this whole thing, and I've, I've noticed a change. Like you know, like I, I'm dreaming, and automatically I go into pitching my nose and I'm like, hey, like I'm dreaming. So all of a sudden I got aware that I'm dreaming. I'm like, whoa, like so it turned into a lizard dream, and I'm walking around doing like other like little things and stuff. And I was able to go from dream to lucid dream to getting out of body, and which like was a pretty amazing ex experience. Now, a whole different thing, like, you know, like, me, I did it only regarding getting out of body and, like, being aware. But there's, there's lots of ways how you people can do it. And, like, there's lots of audios. Like, I just, one, one thing that I would suggest is that before you listen to the whole thing, at least listen to it once while you're fully aware so that you would know what you're listening to so that you wouldn't get any bad things programmed in your mind. Uh, and the best way is, like, you know, make even your own audio, like, just say things you want to say. And, you know, like, like uh, you have these affirmations, and it works for some people, it doesn't work for others, you know, like, I don't know, <laughs> works, different for, for, works differently for everyone. But, you know, some people can just uh, make their own sound, like, Rich, I, I, I've seen Rich making his own, into, like, you know, being confident and healthy and strong, and, like, he would just name down, like, how he's doing in this life and just put the commands himself. So he would, like, write down a long script, uh, write down a long script, on his life and how it's going and stuff like into the positive into the present and for me it makes a lot of sense because when you look at it you are the writer of your life destiny well you are the creator of your life you are the one who writes out your destiny so everything you write down today as in today sucks like uh i didn't take out the trash and my mom blame me like well yeah you created the story so whatever you write down today will manifest tomorrow or some other day and you know like whatever you write today is like your present and then you're going to read it over or it's going to be published, which is mean like manifesting in your life. And another thing to look at it is like area system or reticular activating system in your mind, which will filter out your life. So whatever you concentrate on, whatever you look at, it'll make like, okay, you're concentrating on this one, like you're looking into negativity and your mind will be like, I will make sure that all you see is negativity. So it works like, you know, reticular activating system and everything you know about and everything you think about and conjure it on will work like law of attraction, actually attracting what you want or don't want. And the more you conjure it on something, the more the reticular activating system will be working on it and then like manifest it in front of you. So with this whole like affirmations, uh, if you listen to some audio tracks and it works for you and it's like positive and you like it, try listening to it. And I've seen a lot of people who are doing it and they're getting better changes, like, you know, like they listen to those things and their belief system changes. Because, like, when you interact with other people in life, and some, you know, some people you know, like your family members, your relatives, people at work, people at school, wherever you meet them, you interact with other people. And so their voices will eventually get into your mind. Some people are really positive and they will say good things. Some people, like, might not be that good to you and they will might call you different things, like, you know, oh, you're not smart enough, oh, you can't do this, you're not productive, you're lazy. And you hear that, you know, one time, twice, three times, and eventually, that voice from someone else becomes your reality because you accept it and you believe it. 
So if you would turn it otherwise and listening to these affirmations, you create a different sort of belief. Like, I'm confident, I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm, I'm pretty productive. And you're like, you just write down whatever you want to have in life in the present moment right now. And you just listen to it over and over and over again while you sleep. Eventually, those thoughts, as you hear it, you're like, okay, maybe I am confident. And you will like, start picking it up and like actually applying it in your life and getting some wins. <laughs> but anyway, these are just my thoughts on it. Like, yo, I didn't get to experience it with, with it too much. Like, I practiced it like a few years ago and only with getting out of body. Um, maybe, maybe like I am doing it, but it's not like subconscious when I'm sleeping, but it's more like when I'm multitasking and I'm working on different projects and stuff, like I have my PC going and there's two screens. Like one is here, but the other one is there. So uh, I'm doing something on my PC and then like my whole work, like if I'm transing anime is going to be here on the screen and I'm working on it and stuff. And uh, another one, like I will have YouTube and I will have like Twitter Robbins, Gary B, Mel Robbins, you know, like Tom Bilyeu, all those people that, and I listen to them for hours. Because for me, like, that's my way of isolating myself from negativity and listening to them over and over and over again so that their ideas, their beliefs, they would get in me because I really like their perspective and things they do and, like, that's the mindset that I want to have as a person. And it's helping, like, <laughs> I've really noticed, like, listening to Gary Vee and stuff, like, it's getting in a place where I'm feeling cocky a bit. <laughs> you know, like, I used to be, like, a really shy person and for me to talk to others, to even be on camera, I'm like, oh my god, like, I hated looking at the camera. And right now, like, you know, after listening to Gary Vee for quite a while, like, maybe a few weeks or a month, but I've you know, like, every day I listen, like, almost every day I listen to him. And, you know, like, with his perspective and stuff, and he's saying, you know, just do it, and, like, the way he, the things he recommend, just to start and stuff. And so, I'm doing it, and I'm confronting my fears, and, like, you know, just facing the camera, and, like, looking right here at you in the eyes, hopefully. <laughs> So, like, I'm facing my fears and difficulties, but their mindset is helping me change. So, I'm listening to those affirmations and their perspective and their mindset more when I'm awake. And, like, that's the way it works for me, but, uh, you know, <laughs> that, that's I probably that, that's just my way of doing it that I'm aware of. Anyway, like, I guess that's the video for now. Um, what are your thoughts on these affirmations? Do you listen to them? What sort of things would you like to program yourself? What, like, how do you apply it in your life if you do? Like, I would know it all, so please share in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.